at University of California Davis, we are building a good manufacturing practice facility in our new Institute for Regenerative Cures. This is a clean room facility where we can manufacture stem cell products for return to patients. Only a few days ago, actually, one of our patients that we had gotten to know died from Huntington's disease, a very young patient. And that really gets, gets to you, gets to me. Unfortunately, um, the therapies will be too late to help Emily, but she's a big part of our inspiration to develop these therapies to help others. Gerhard Bauer and I have been involved in 18 cellular and gene therapy trials during our uh, career together and are hoping to start new ones here as soon as we can and as soon as we get this wonderful GMP facility opened. GMP stands for Good Manufacturing Practice, which means to produce a safe, potent, non-contaminated product for patient administration. The FDA asks us that every cell that comes out of that facility is exactly like all of the other cells in that batch that is going to the designated patient who needs the cure. We're sitting currently adjacent to the Good Manufacturing Practice facility in a new office and the facility will be opening by the end of November of 2009. It is a renovation of a pre-existing building, so we were actually able to have our groundbreaking very early and to begin the renovation. The FDA is very careful to make sure that these therapies will be safe. And part of GMP manufacturing is that we validate the product and we do extensive testing and record keeping on the stem cell product that's going to the patient's bedside. Everything needs to be labeled, everything needs to be tracked and everything needs to be written down. And when the FDA comes for an audit, you better have your records in order and show them. This is the only way you can maintain your status as a good manufacturing practice facility. We have 15 teams of investigators here in the stem cell program. We actually have 147 faculty members affiliated with the stem cell program. And each of the 15 teams is moving toward a stem cell clinical trial using some type of stem cells. One of the first that we'll be doing is stem cells for peripheral artery disease. We are in the process of scaling up many um, pluripotent therapies for diseases like hearing loss, um, loss of eyesight, um, heart disease, liver disease, uh, kidney disease. We're working on bioengineered organs. They would be grown in this GMP facility. There are no um, large GMP facilities in Northern California or throughout the Bay Area, so this was very much needed. And we're already accepting contracts from nearby universities and companies to help manufacture their products to bring the stem cell cures uh, to the public much faster and in a clean and efficient way. The future of regenerative medicine is just very bright. We really believe this is the way that medicine will be done in the future and when we look back to some current practices it will seem barbaric in retrospect.